I'm Lynn Ibe. I work as a patient advocate offering emotional and spiritual support to cancer patients and their caregivers. Lynn, who's a colon cancer survivor, says many times people want to offer patient support but don't know how. I've toyed with the idea of writing a book, really stupid things not to say to cancer patients and their family. People say things like, oh, you look so good. And I know they mean well, but you know, you want to say like, well, how, how did you want me to look? Or how did you think I was going to look? The worst thing I think they do is they start telling you a story about, oh, my grandma, she had that kind of cancer. Oh, she didn't last six months. I say when someone starts a story about a relative or a friend with cancers, look them straight in the eye and say, does this story have a happy ending? And if they say no, say, thank you, I don't want to hear it right now. <laughs> when I start to tell a story to someone about someone I know with their kind of cancer, they know it's a story with a happy ending. Either the person's cured or the person's in remission or the person's doing better than anyone thought or whatever. Uh, I only tell those kind of stories to people. You need to hear a hopeful story, not a sad story. I don't give unsolicited advice to cancer patients because you get way too much of it. But one of the things I tell people is, I don't assume I know how you feel. I, I, I just, just because I've had cancer doesn't mean I know exactly how you feel. And as soon as I say that, they appreciate hearing that <laughs> because other people, oh yeah, I know just how you feel. Really? You had stage three colon cancer when you were 36 and your children were 8, 10, and 12? You know exactly how I feel? Probably not. So um, that's why I just don't make assumptions. And I, I, I saw all the mistakes people made with me, so I know all the things not to do with newly diagnosed cancer patients. And hopefully I have not done those things with people.